Hello, welcome to the Continuity of Parts by Julio Cortazar. You can find a link to the reading below the video here. Uh, this is an excellent example of magic realism. It's very short, uh, and I think it's a lot of fun. So, hopefully you got the link, you got the reading, and you can follow along, or you can, at the very least, listen carefully to hear kind of the twist that's going to happen in this story. So here we go, The Continuity of Parks by Julio Cortazar. He had begun to read the novel a few days before. He had put it aside because of some urgent business conferences, opened it again on his way back to the estate by train. He permitted himself a slowly growing interest in the plot, in the characterizations. That afternoon, after writing a letter giving his power of attorney and discussing a matter of joint ownership with the manager of his estate, he returned to the book in the tranquility of his study, which looked out upon the parks with its oaks. Sprawled in his favorite armchair, its back toward the door, even the possibility of an intrusion would have irritated him had he thought of it. He let his left hand caress repeatedly the green velvet upholstery and set to reading the final chapters. He remembered effortlessly the names and his mental image of the characters. The novel spread its glamour over him almost at once. He tasted the almost perverse pleasure of disengaging himself line by line from the things around him, and at the same time feeling his head rest comfortably on the green velvet of the chair with its high back. Sensing that the cigarettes rested within reach of his hand, that beyond the great windows the air of afternoon danced under the oak trees in the park. Word by word licked up the sordid dilemma of the hero and heroine, letting himself be absorbed to the point where the images settled down and took on color and movement. He was witness to the final encounter in the mountain cabin. The woman arrived first, apprehensive. Now the lover came in, his face cut by the backlash of a branch. Admirably, she stanched the blood with her kisses, but he rebuffed her caresses. He had not come to perform again the ceremonies of a secret passion protected by a world of dry leaves and furtive paths through the forest. The dagger warmed itself against his chest, and underneath liberty pounded, hidden close. A lustful, panting dialogue raced down the pages like a rivulet of snakes, and one felt it had all been decided from eternity. Even to those caresses which writhed about the lover's body as though wishing to keep him there, to dissuade him from it, they sketched abominably the frame of that other body it was necessary to destroy. Nothing had been forgotten. Alibis, unforeseen hazards, possible mistakes. From this hour on, each instant had its use minutely assigned. The cold-blooded, twice-gone-over re-examination of the details was barely broken off so that a hand could caress a cheek. It was beginning to get dark. Not looking at each other now, rigidly fixed upon the task which awaited them, they separated at the cabin door. She was to follow the trail that led north. On the path leading in the opposite direction, he turned for a moment to watch her running, her hair loosened and flying. He ran in turn, crouching among the trees and hedges until, in the yellowish fog of dusk, he could distinguish the avenue of trees which led up to the house. The dogs were not supposed to bark, and they did not bark. The estate manager would not be there at this hour, and he was not there. He went up the three porch steps and entered. The woman's words reached him over a thudding of blood in his ears. First a blue chamber, then a hall, then a carpeted stairway. At the top, two doors. No one in the first room. No one in the second. The door of the salon, and then the knife in his hand. The light from the great windows the high back of an armchair covered in green velvet, the head of a man in the chair reading a novel. And that's the end. Uh, I want to say shout out to my friend Sonia Kaiser, who introduced me to that story many years ago. Thank you so much, Mama Bear. I appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed that reading, and I hope that you uh, have a little uh, bit of a taste, a little bit of an understanding about magic realism and... Um, and what the genre is about and how much fun it can be. All right, thanks. See you in the next video.